Uh, Gold Leaf broadcast uh, live from Barbados. My name is George Corbin, the sustainability coach and consultant with Global Leaf. I'm here on site uh, for the last one week with our uh, launch of our website. Uh, started on Monday, uh, April 22nd for Earth Day. And uh, we are now uh, at the end of that initial stage and hoping to uh, speak more about what we hope to achieve and also to spend some time Thank you to all those who have supported me throughout the whole week and even before now on how to make this all come together. So I just want to welcome you. It's about uh, a little bit behind time. It's about uh, 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes after three right now. Had some technical difficulties getting things going, but I have my trusty uh, relation here, Crystal, who was behind the scenes doing all the good stuff to make it all happen. So I want to thank Crystal Lee in advance for saving the day. Uh, she made uh, this uh, broadcast uh, possible today. today. So, um, well, I welcome you uh, to it. I just want to go through a few things to make sure that we know what we'll be doing for the next few minutes or so together. Uh, so, as we said, we're here now on location in Barbados, live uh, being broadcast. Um, I would like you to know that we have a, a chat uh, box open up, so if you have any questions or comments, I will try to attend to them directly um, after. Uh, at the end, and uh, if you can put them in now, I'll take a look at it and also be able to review and give you a response along the way as well. So that's one thing. So chat line is open, and that's the main thing. So what we're looking to do today, we'll give a little bit of background, why, we, why I chose to be here uh, in Barbados uh, for this launch, particularly around the Earth Day celebration. Uh, talk a little bit about um, um, uh, the, uh, some of the content I want to share with you in terms of how you can become more sustainable in your own efforts uh, in your own life. So that's all about what we're about for the website. It's all about sustainable sustainable and all the things that you do. Um, and we're here to provide that information, help along the way, help each other as well, because we're to build a community around this uh, whole venture that uh, folks will also make their own contribution as well uh, from their own perspective. I've already been receiving quite a bit already. Actually, that's part of the thanks I want to give out. I've had a lot of good critiques along the way, a lot of good compliments, and also a lot of good support in the last week uh, from those who are participating already uh, within the, uh, the website. So I want to thank you for all that you have done. So that's part of what we're going to do. Uh, also looking at uh, talking about things we'll be looking to do uh, within the next few days, leading up to before my departure back to Boston, uh, and also some announcements that we're going to have. So that's the outline. So this is just to get on with things anyway. So we uh, started off uh, Monday with, with the official launch. Uh, and that's, that's done well. Uh, just to give you a little background uh, on that, we had a, uh, an event which we attended um, with the Futures Trust Center here, uh, Futures Center Trust here in, in Barbados, who are uh, actively promoting and supporting and uh, giving information about how to be sustainable here in the island. So we had spent some time with them on Monday uh, um, with their outreach event. Here on the island, and if you want to take a look at an interview I did with the director, uh, that's found in our, our channel, our YouTube channel. I guess you do a Google search for uh, pathways to sustainability uh, on sustainability uh, uh, golden leaf. Uh, it's the name of the channel itself, golden leaf uh, sustainability gold. So that's that's available. But just to get a little background about my own purpose of why I'm here in Barbados, uh, this is where I'm born. Uh, my house is about uh, uh, used to be house. It's probably about a half mile away from where I'm at now. I'm at, at a relation's home, uh, her home, which is not far from where I used to be as a boy, brought up here in Barbados uh, some number of years ago. I'm not going to give it time, <laughs> but uh, it's been well, many moons ago. Uh, but here now, first time back uh, last two months ago in 22 years, and realizing that some of the things I'm hoping to do would work very well with this, this environment and where uh, I have my connections already from my from, uh, my ADA family and my own heritage being here in the island. Uh, so I've been able to do that, uh, come back and out. This area which I'm leaving in is, the, is developed now, this home, but this used to be my, my playing ground during the summertime. White kites, ran, uh, chased uh, wild goats on the pasture, uh, play cricket uh, down the way, not far from here, uh, soccer, uh, what we call here, so, uh, football, all those things have been right in the same, right in the same area. Uh, to my Left over here, two minutes away, a walk to the beach. The Blue Stone. For those who know Spice Town in Barbados, you know what I'm talking about, particularly the dated ones like myself. That's where we used to have to, uh, take our sea bass all the time. So this is where I grew up and learned about uh, nature and invest, I should say, because I lived within it. Not far from my home was a nice 
open area of the belly. Uh, so we go there and get the fresh fruits. Uh, I used to joke about it all the time. Uh, in the summertime, I uh, ate in the morning, go out all day long, and the fruits were all over the place. So that was my lunch. Uh, the wild fruits all over the place. So this is the environment I learned about uh, sustainability and that raw form, but it, before it was called that. But just learning to know and appreciate the nature and the best. And uh, I grew and experienced that as a boy. But, so that is why I came back. To be here to uh, at least uh, um, come back to where I kind of learned uh, from my own roots about how I have a, a greater appreciation about uh, uh, the environment, how to protect it, and why it's uh, important for all of us to do the same uh, for our own benefit as well. Because all that we do is from this uh, place that we call home to earth. And it's best that we do the best uh, our own to save it and preserve it. So that's my that's my background. Um, so in terms of um, uh, getting the update, though, just to get your sense of uh, where we are with the, the website, we've had about 80 plus visitors on the YouTube channel. And we have about 14 subscribers since uh, Monday. So I want to thank all those who have done just that, signed on and got uh, uh, registered on our uh, database to receive more information, more, more videos, and more information as such. Uh, actually, to say up and coming, uh, this week, I have scheduled some more um, discussion, interviews and uh, conversations and work uh, around uh, urban farming. Uh, I have a developer who's doing some good stuff here in Barbados, uh, uh, building homes that, are, that have all the energies and features from the clay building materials, and also for uh, having systems that help to preserve water and also uh, use uh, solar and other things and such to, to help the whole be a little more effective and be uh, Green Global certified. Uh, so that's up and coming. Uh, I have a homeowner not far from here, actually down the street from here, an old friend of mine who is also uh, in, the, in the process of finishing off his home. I just to go through the things that he's doing on, on that that uh, are all about water conservation, energy efficiency, and different things that he's looking to do. So I'll be looking to do uh, interviews with him uh, this up and coming week. And lastly, is also visiting an eco resort, which I'll make some announcements uh, later at the end about that idea. Uh, hopefully, come back here and, and experience a little bit more of Barbados in, in terms of nature and, and uh, hopefully invite a few people as well. So, that's uh, what's up and coming. Uh, just to give a little context about how we can all go about being a little bit more sustainable uh, ourselves in our own way. And uh, I always say it's all about steps, steps to sustainability, it's not leaps. It's not giant leaps, it's small steps that we can take. Areas to focus on uh, is that of uh, energy, food, and water. There's other things, of course, but those are three areas that uh, covers quite a bit. So in terms of energy, uh, just to give an example here, uh, this uh, can pan over as far as what is going to be uh, an example to you of all the different things that people do uh, within Barbados. So look across the way, uh, if you see within your view, that's typical, a solar thermal, solar thermal, panel feeding hot water. Uh, all the homes up and down this whole street here have even one of it right now. So that's typical. So it's become standard about uh, people understanding that there's ways that you can use uh, natural resources to benefit themselves, save their own money, and, and kind of receive that benefit. So here in Barbara, this is a great, great example, but I know that this is also good in other places as well. Um, so that's one of the areas, like I said, energy. Food, uh, typically. Everyone has something in the backyard that grows fruits or vegetables. Uh, and it's encouraged and uh, definitely please even my home, home stadium now has it. All the neighbors have mango trees, banana trees, breadfruit trees, everything around which some portion of their food that they intake uh, on a daily basis or at least a weekly basis is from the yard. That's that. I want to share with you uh, uh, one of the things that I grew up with on my own, in my own yard. Not far from here, like I said, and the breadfruit is cut in half right now, and uh, this grows on a tree. I mean, this is multi-purpose use, actually. We eat it, and as a boy, I even use it for football. <laughs> uh, so, but this is definitely a food that we eat on a regular basis. Uh, just a sample of uh, that uh, is easily found in the backyard. Just behind our house here now, I am just looking at, I'm not within your view, but I have a mango tree, banana trees, and, and fruit, uh, refuge trees that I just easily point to as such. Uh, as you may even see behind me, coconut for growing. So they're all over the place, and that's one of the things that we talked about is energy systems, sustainability, and also food security and being able to produce your own as well. So that's one of the other areas. 
Now the other area that uh, you can take those steps are in water. The water use. That's what we use every day. Uh, conservation is definitely key, but also uh, other sources like rainwater. Uh, one of the things I'll be discussing on uh, videotape and interview by a friend uh, this week is about how he has plans to do some rainwater capture, rainwater har harvesting that he can then use uh, for flushing toilets, uh, washing clothes, uh, irrigating his uh, garden, all those different things. So he can definitely lessen on, on uh, use from the main lines that comes through the house itself. In the last few weeks, we've had a lot of rain, actually, since I've been here. Last weekend, we had a lot of rain out rained out last weekend. It's pretty good today, uh, this Saturday, or for, uh, this 27th day of the month. But uh, before that, they had a drought almost, uh, at least a lack of water. So I know that that's one of the concerns here. Uh, we've mentioned to me, uh, folks from the um, uh, future, uh, trust, uh, future um, trust fund that, 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 that they are also knowing, noting that um, uh, we are one of the um, top nations around that uh, have water uh, resource issues when it comes to it. It's a surprise to me, that, but it's true so. Particularly last week, I almost ran every day since I've been here. So those are areas, like I said, that, uh, that can be done. There's simple things uh, to add to uh, your home uh, in a gradual way, step by step, not leaps, sub bounds, but small steps that can bring you closer to being more sustainable. Uh, so it's those things that are plotted out, food, energy, and water. There's three areas that are good areas to start with. So that's it for my uh, uh, my little bit of a content that I can share with you, just to give you a little bit of an update what's uh, up and coming uh, as far as announcements, which I want to share with you now. So we have, uh, let me go over this, because it'll be helping uh, and key with in terms of what I need to talk about. Uh, we have an eco tour that we're looking to plan later in the year. Uh, we're meeting up with uh, uh, some of the uh, sites, owners of some of the sites. Someone in, uh, that I have in mind, the nice uh, uh, on the east coast side of the island, which is a little less developed and more in its natural state. Uh, I hope to visit them in the next two days and uh, take a look at these facilities. But closer look. I actually was there last week, but I said it rained out last week, so I didn't see much of it. But we'll be back again, uh, hopefully, in August to arrange for that. So, August tours, we're looking at the Eagle Tour with the uh, combined. Uh, to have folks to come down to the island and experience the island as best in its natural form and also learn from the most as well. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're looking before that time looking at a lot of membership site for those who need some more depth information uh, and more help along the way to get them close to being more sustainable. So that's one of the things we're launching over the next month. Uh, we have uh, um, webinar instructions, just like almost like this one, a little bit more content uh, focus. Which is uh, be able to show and demonstrate and also uh, give more uh, information uh, during that webinar. So that's one of the other things we're going to roll out within, within the next month or so. So that's one of the other things. And, and lastly, uh, I'm definitely not uh, least of all, we'll be looking at doing some live seminars in Boston, in the Kings Boston area, uh, which will be ways for uh, folks to meet. It's where my base is from, Cambridge, Boston, uh, in Massachusetts, U.S. Uh, so we'll just start there with doing some live um, uh, seminars as well. So that's the plan for what we're looking to do. So I know I did ask, I don't know if anyone has uh, signed on with me, which I can see if anything else is going uh, as it is. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's anything in the, in the chat line. Uh, I think I have anything there about to say, but I just want to make sure that I respond to anyone who may have any questions or comments. Uh, but I want to thank everyone for the support I've received in the last week or so. My family was here, was actually behind the scenes uh, 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 support me on. I've had a wonderful time uh, with the relations to my aunt and cousins who are here in the island. Uh, I was the host of the last week and another week I'll be working uh, from their home. I have uh, kind of shifted by my base uh, from Boston, Cambridge uh, to here in the last uh, week or so. Uh, uh, making good use of their uh, of the dining room and living room for my office. I mean, it went up with me. <laughs> Late nights and early mornings. So that's it. Uh, I want to just thank everyone for all they have done and their support. And like I said, we're live from Barbados uh, this day, April 27th. Uh, this uh, feed is going to go straight to the YouTube channel we have. So we're going to have a repeat of this and kind of get to see this for those who may have missed uh, the opportunity to log on and uh, check this out live. It will definitely be on our channel. We have a whole bunch of other uh, uploads, uh, videos there as well. So we're welcome to go there and get that information. Uh, so the next uh, broadcast, which this week might be coming up, 
uh, after my discussion with a, uh, a friend at this resort, the Nikki is the name of the resort. I'll be meeting with him the next two days. If it works out well, then that's the place we're going to be for August. Uh, we'll definitely be scheduling a uh, broadcast from here as well, next Saturday, as well as possibly, uh, as well. So we're hoping to meet up then, have a little bit more contact, have more to share, and then uh, be able to uh, invite others to be part of this as well. So thank you for your support. Uh, and all else, uh, like I said, they can reach, uh, reach and get more information at, uh, uh, at uh, pathways to sustainability.com. That's the website that we're using for the information that we have. Uh, on the YouTube channel, and I'll definitely send out emails as we have received from you as well uh, for more information updates. So, thank you all. My family was there as well, and uh, everyone else. So, from Barbados, uh, Saturday, April 27th. That's where we are now. It's uh, whatever time it is now. I hope it's only about 20 minutes to the time into this thing. But uh, that's where we are. So, thank you once again. Thank you all for that.